I think some of our best adventures have been just afternoons where we decide, okay, let's take a right, head south, and see where we end up. It's beautiful drives from destination to destination, rolling hills, and it's peaceful. And you have an opportunity to actually take in a view. We are on the move a lot. It's, it's just great and refreshing to be going to places that sort of innately are peaceful. I think because we're rewarded each time with a beautiful experience, it just keeps us coming back. Yeah. Nice to meet Great you. Yeah. You have a beautiful spot here. Yeah. Oh, we do have a good location. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. we've it's driven by. Yeah. Uh, oh, we get every day we'll get somebody that said, you know, how many times I've driven by here. Yeah, oh, yeah. and we've yeah. always yeah. wanted That's to stop. Most of the time and... it's packed, so we're... Yeah. yeah. Like, we're headed on the way back. Yeah. yeah. So here's the deal. You can't have one of everything. <laughs> get out. There's not enough room in the rig. Um, I have a problem with chairs, so every time I see a chair, Tom is like, don't go there. <laughs> He's not looking now, so. More bags. <laughs> Just what we need. I know. More bags. You know, in a, in a crazy, busy world, which is really full of overstimulation, it's nice just to get in the car, drive, and take your time with something. Take time to actually connect with someone and ask them about, you know, what's important to them and joke around about what's happening, in, you know, in the area or learn something new about something and show some genuine interest. And in the attic, so we had like plumbing problems up in the attic. Plumbers back there, he's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, hit a look. There was all antique vintage beer cans that oh probably God. probably the kids were like, you know, getting <laughs> away with stuff up, up in the attic eaves. Oh, they were all in the attic eaves. Oh, I should, yeah, it's we a whole, them I kept out. them. I'm like, <laughs> they're should, going yeah. on my man cave bar oh, someday. Okay. But I'd love to know what, Take holy cow. Oh my goodness. There's a whole, it keeps going. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it's huge. I feel like we're just gonna like keep going in different directions. <laughs> I'm like spotting something over here. I'll come with you. Okay. You know, that's where we find the best places is just like taking a turn and seeing where you end up. And We had passed so many times on our way to Maine and every time we passed, we said we have to come. We were thrilled to stop there for the first time, and like we went back um, and spent like two or three hours there. So we can—that's one of those places you can just get lost in. It keeps going and going and going. We'll have to open our own shop after a while, though. This is—I can't believe we've yeah, never been no, in here. No, this is crazy. Is that is that is that for <laughs> hair cutting or something yeah. more scary? I don't know. <laughs> Hey, check this out. Yeah, that's Pretty much fill up the car. Look at this. Cookie house. No. You trying to tell me something? Vito. What do you do with this? This is a pump. That's a container. For what? Definitely oil related. Like perfectly curated. Everything sort of looked like it was, you know, could yep. have been in Country Living magazine and where are you? I got lost. Oh, this is like a pie basket, right? Yeah, definitely. How cute. There's a whole basket thing going on, too. Thank you very much. Thank you. So nice we'll definitely you. be back. We'll be back. We're here every day since fun. Awesome. Oh, that's great. Keep an eye out for the wag. We'll, we'll be back. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Thank you. Thanks. Take care now. 
already have like 10 more things that oh, yeah. I want to buy. Long list. gone past there many times as well. That is a hidden gem that I sort of didn't even realize was there. Hi there. Hi, there. Hi how, how are you? you? How long have you been here? Uh, since 1976, 43 years. Excellent. There's this building, there's the building next door, and oh. there's the upstairs of this building. If you need any help, it's excellent. All right, Great. You bet. Thank, thank you so you. much. That's right, he's improving wonderfully. Language will have to look to his pitching arm. Oh my goodness. Love it. Adventures to come. Love Quick, it. somebody grab a box. Get a bunch of this for the built in. That's the fun part about books, is there's history there too. Aw, goosebumps. Hmm? <laughs> goosebumps. But you're too old for this. I'm too old for goosebumps? this. Goosebumps? But Brie does like, she loves the colors of books. So, so I, I realize that books probably are worth more by having the, the dust, dust cover, cover on there. Yeah. But boy, she loves. She wants to see what's on the spine of that book. If the color's right or the title's right, it's probably going to end up on the shelf. Film God. Oh, this is cool. The Angler's Bible. She's not interested, but I'm interested in this. <laughs> is this one? I have to get this one out. What's it say? It's how. <laughs> how to help. How to help your husband get ahead. Hey, <laughs> Jeez, that's an this. important book. I need this. How to help your husband get ahead. Oh my ahead. God! At least look at the index. What's the outline? We need to know this. The first steps towards success. What is it? Help him decide where he is going. Yes. What every wife should know about enthusiasm. Careful, maybe you shouldn't read a lot of these out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Learn to listen effectively. The two men you married. She's gonna, she's gonna buy this thing. 1953. This book is lovingly dedicated to my husband. I got a feeling times have changed though. Uh, yeah. Fundamental techniques of morale building. How to make people like him. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we realize how difficult that can be. <laughs> But here's the thing, this, this book has so many pages, they didn't even put page numbers in it. They're like, we can't, do, we can't. Oh, you're still on that. How to conserve his health. I well, need I need tips on that, maybe not so many. Uh, that could come in handy, actually. Not so many Oreo cookies, I don't know. Yeah. I have to get this. Many times. Many times. Yeah, that, well, the, the exterior is just a fantastic, their downtown is just mm -hmm. a great little downtown area, and I mean, who doesn't love an old hardware store? So, um, they have the best descriptions, I think we talked about while we were there, they have the best descriptions on the tags, you know exactly where he pulled the item from, you know, if it was out of a farmhouse or a barn find. <laughs> Hold on. What do you think, Tom? Some more chairs? Oh, That's just what the we collection. need. Just keep piling chairs <laughs> into the garage. Exactly. This one's great. We have so many chairs. I love them. I think we're going to open a chair shop. See, I love, oh. this has been, I love this. That's cool. It's wood. Oh. All wood. Early 1900s, handmade wooden truck. That's really cool. I think that's one of the more fun experiences of an antique shop, too, is having no, finding something that you have no idea what its purpose was. But then to find out right away, whether having the conversation with the owner 
or the person behind the desk, or seeing a great tag, and they have an awesome tag. I mean, it's just there's detail on there, gives you everything you need to know about what this particular item was used for. So it's fun. Which is great when Tom tells me it was used for one thing, and I can immediately look at the tag and find out it yeah. was used for something else. That always works out nicely too. <laughs> Yeah, I'm into. He's I into love, a lot of stuff that, like, you, you can, can put things into. Just put more stuff in. Yeah, just keep storing things in, which is good, are, though, right? Those are cool. Being though. organized. What's the What's the organization of the woman now? <laughs> Marie Kondo. Marie Kondo. It needs to spark it joy. It's, yeah, we're, we're sparking joy. Think about the amount of stuff people have had, like, over the course of their lives. And I think I think it's interesting too the the cycle of antiques that just must cycle through antique shops, right? So they'll go to a new home but then that will change hands and end up in another antique shop, most likely someday, unless it's an heirloom or something. But I think the stories behind the items are something that we're definitely interested in. Ready? Oh, where is it? Whoa, hey, whoa, oh, where no, is it? It's, you had to turn the camera. Oh, I did, oh, I forgot to. I forgot to. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two. Oh is that a video, Tom? It's a video. Oh, it's a video. Oh, it's a video. <laughs> Backdrops, the paintings on the stage. Yeah. Uh, we have several different sets in the town and in interior, exterior, and this is the woodland scene. But those were all painted about um, 19, 1910s. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, all original. Yep, so it's all original, very old. Exactly. Right. Hubbard Hall is beautiful. The history there was remarkable that it's so well preserved. The greater part of that is that there's so many local folks that have rallied behind that space to maintain it and preserve it. A lot of kids go through there and perform in there and there's performances, so it's still amazing to see these spaces that are incredibly beautiful and ornate still being utilized. Can I put this guy in the dining room table? <laughs> My grand, this is great. My grandmother has, my grandmother has a set like this. this is a Manet. Still at my grandmother's house. I gotta ask about that one. Here, move over a little bit. What? You gotta come on. Get in. You know, go. No, no, go out. Go out. Get out. Get out. Get out, lady. This is the one that has that's upstairs, right? There's a hole upstairs. Hi. How are you? How are you? Great. Good. I'm Tom. First time, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Bill. Beautiful place. Thank you. You want to start upstairs? You want to go? Upstairs, oh, we're going to sure. go right upstairs. All right. all right, great. Thank you. Oh my, she's all about the blue and white. Blue and white anything. Uh oh. oh Old school folding these. chairs. We have two of these on our back porch. Oh look. Yes, more stuff great. to put things in. I think she just wants things that, so she can hide my stuff. No, these are really cool. It's fun to meet the owners in these antique shops, but it's also fun to meet the other customers because we um, we were on our way out and we had an armful of treasures as the woman the woman came up to us and she was asking about what treasures we got that day and then um, <laughs> she made sure to let us know that her husband had spent many years collecting things and that I, I needed to reel Tom in and make sure that he didn't right. <laughs> spend right. too much time in an antique shop. Okay, there you go. Or no. <laughs> no. No offense. Not. No offense. Thanks. But you looked great walking by. Yeah, thanks. 
Oh, I didn't Free is that good. Part. Free is good. Means Translation, good. please take these take now. Take these away. We're trying to find a match for our fireplace set at home, which is never going to happen, but maybe we can get something close. Pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> it's usually him. What? What? Getting stuck 50, on 50 50. Getting stuck in places like this. Because you we try to leave and equally, then it's just like, well, oh. We, it's, it depends upon, oh. right, upon who's interested in what. It's all timing. I like that. We're getting close to the elbow coming out with this the camera. There's an there's an <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what? We should just roll that up right up right next to the right next to my chair. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm Tom. I'm Bree. Business goes all the way out into the back. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh good. So, and this is you too, right here. It's that room, this room, this room. This one I just emptied a case oh. because I'm changing things around. Oh, all right. Good. But then you go further out and there's more rooms. Love it. We have a Christmas room out there. That stays. <laughs> well, let's check out the Christmas room. That's right. All right. We've been here before, just yeah, so you know. We We've been in this building. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh yeah. And that was great. I mean, to see the enthusiasm of these shop owners that, you know, really want to not just have a successful business, but to see their neighbors have success as well. It's just great. Folks are interested in kind of sharing the story, not just of their space, but of their town or their city or their regions. I'm getting that song in my head, Chris. Oh, no, Chris. No, no, no. Okay, okay, all right, sorry. I love these. See, I think we might have the same. We definitely have like yeah. three of those. Right, yeah. everyone has. Everyone's mom has that in the laundry room. Right, I think these are just like so mass produced, right? Like this is, this is just like how everybody, but they're totally cool. Always really happy to shine a light on small businesses in small towns. I think that these folks make their living on people coming to visit their store in person in a world of Amazon where you can have something delivered in two days or less. It's really important that we not forget these folks who have storefronts in these small towns and make an effort to support them in any way that we can and keep our downtowns vibrant and keep our communities alive. That went on forever. Yeah, it went on and on and on. That Love was it. another great spot where you could just get lost for hours. Yeah. Hi there. How are you? I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Diane. Hi, Diane. Nice so nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Bree. What's your name? Bree. Bree. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You have a beautiful spot here. This is great. Thanks. It, keeps, Thanks. it goes on and on and on. It does. It keeps going and going and going. Oh, my goodness. I think that's the fun part is that you, you, you can hop around to all these great spots, meet these neat folks and then you never know what you're gonna find in these places and they're gonna spark memories that of you know different things that were important to you at one point in, in, in your life and see Dang. here we go. Here we go. What? This is it. Oh man. Right here. See? See? Do you even know? This is a, I played with these at my grandmother's house for years. This might be the same one. You see what I see? Might be a nice isn't there an anniversary or something coming up? Your wife may or may not be interested in you taking it home with you. <laughs> well, that that was a great one because it did have that did spark a lot of memories. They had Lincoln Logs and all the old board games and, you know, that's the beauty of these places is that you can go in and it will bring back a memory of 
when you were a kid and something that your grandparents had. And it's really that trait. It's, it, that's the difference. I think I mentioned it while we were there. Now it's iPads, but it used to be Lincoln Logs and the Hess truck and lining up the toys on, on the ground and using your imagination. And things have changed, but they also haven't. There's an opportunity out there to go out there and engage and, um, and revisit these things and give them a new life. Oh my goodness, it really does go yeah, it goes on forever. forever. Wow. I'm afraid to touch this, but look at that. Coca-Cola, old neon. If you fix the glass, you put a piece of glass over it. Boom, cool coffee table. See, now, there's got to be something cool going on here. I'm not going to... I've gotten wise <laughs> in my old age. I'm sure there's something really cool in there. Ice cream company. Ice cream company. How do you know it's Glens Falls? It says Glens Falls. It says Glens Falls, New York. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs>